click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello students i welcome you to this lecture on analysis of rl circuits problem number 5 We have seen four problems. Let us see some different different problems now. Let us go back to the problem. In the network shown, point I one of T and I two of T, which are shown by arrows, and we have to find them when the switch is closed at time t equal to zero. So the routine procedure will see we will find what happens at time t equal to zero minus, then what happens at time t equal to zero plus, then at time t greater than zero, and then we will have some differential equation. We will solve it. So let us draw the circuit at time t equal to zero minus. So at time t equal to zero minus, you can see this switch is opened because switch is getting closed at time t equal to zero. And when that is the case, when switch is open, definitely both the currents are zero. So I one of zero and I two of zero. So you can write I one of zero minus equal to I two of zero minus. Equal to zero amperes. Now at time t equal to zero plus, this switch will get closed. Inductor will act as open circuit. So we will we will do this. We will draw the circuit. So at t equal to zero plus, let's see what happens at t equal to zero plus. And at t equal to zero plus, we will draw the circuit now. So hundred volt source with ten ohm resistor. So we have a hundred volt source. With 10 ohm resistance, then here is 5 ohms, and the inductor, as I told you, it will act as open circuit. And here I have 5 ohm resistor. I1 and I2 will draw as it is. Now you can see very clearly that I one of zero will be zero because here is open circuit, but I two of zero will be there, and we can calculate it. So I two of zero plus will be current is voltage upon resistance. So the voltage is nothing but equal to hundred volts divided by resistance is ten plus five is equal to fifty. So it is going to be hundred divided by fifty, which comes out to be. Six point six six amperes. So this is nothing but I two at zero plus. Well, now this is about I two. Now we'll go back to the T greater than zero circuit. So for T greater than zero, we we'll go to the next page. Here I am with the original circuit. For T greater than zero, these resistances will be always there. Now inductor will be in picture. So circuit will be like this: a hundred volt source, ten five and five. Here there is inductor. Value of this inductance inductor is zero point zero one entry. Well, now this is nothing but I one of T, and here there is nothing but I two of T. So when you see it here, and when you solve this circuit, we have to apply KVL. Obviously, we have two currents. We need two equations. So we will apply KVL to this loop. Let us give name to it. Let us the name is A B C D E and we forgot here F. So let's apply K V L. So by K V L two A B F E A. So A B F E A. This smaller loop, loop of I one. And uh, when we see this, we will come to know that hundred 
minus 10 into i1 then we have minus 5 into i1 minus i2 and then we have voltage across inductor which is minus l into di by dt so d by dt of current will be i1 minus i2 so i1 minus i2 and whole equal to 0 and so if we solve this this will become 100 minus 10 i1 minus 5 minus 15 i1 then this minus 5 minus minus becomes plus so plus 5 into i2 and then minus of l value is 0 0.01 and then we have d by dt of i1 minus i2 equal to 0. Now let's go back to the second loop. The second loop that I am going to take, this was our first loop. Second loop will be A, B, C, D, F, E, A, the complete one. A, B, C, D, F, E, A. So applying KVL. Let's go A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, F, E and back to A. So when you apply KVL to this outer loop, we will have 100. minus 10 into i1 then you will come here minus 5 into i2 see we are coming like this if you can show this is our path and so on so this minus 5 we have taken that's it so this is equal to 0 and so our equation is now 10 i1 plus 5 i2 is equal to 100 or in other words we can do one thing we can get the value of i2 so it is going to be 5 i2 is equal to 100 minus 10 i1 or i2 is equal to 100 minus 10 i1 divided by 5 and this value of i2 we are going to substitute in this equation. The KVL equation of loop 1, let's say that this is equation number 1. So, substitute this in equation 1. So, by doing that, see this is the equation 1. So, 100 minus 15 I1 as it is. So, 100 minus 15 I1. Then comes plus 5 i2. So instead of i2, we are going to substitute 100 minus 10 i1 divided by 5. So it is 100 minus 10 i1 divided by 5. Then it is minus 0 0.01 d by dt. So it is minus 0 0.01 into d by dt of i1 minus i2 so again here also i1 minus we have to put the value of i2 which is 100 minus 10 i1 by 5 so again in bracket and the bracket completed and this whole this whole equation is equal to 0 so here also that 0 will come Now we will have to solve this. So 100 minus 15 I1. Now this phi and phi will get cancelled. So plus 100 minus 10 I1. Then I have minus 0 0.01 multiplied by d by dt of. We will cross multiply here. So I will have here phi u I1 minus 100 plus 10 i1 whole divided by 5 equal to 0 it's like a little bit bigger equation so here i can combine some terms here i can combine this 15 i1 and 10 i1 so this becomes 100 minus 25 i1 plus this 100 so we can combine it as 200 and then we have minus 0 0.01 into d by dt well we can take this phi outside so 0 0.01 divided by this outside this phi comes outside 
so 0 0.01 divided by 5 and then d by dt of 5 plus 10 is 15 i1 so it is d by dt of 15 i1 minus 100 and derivative of this 100 will be 0 so this is equal to 0 now 100 and 100 will combine as 200 so 200 minus 25 i1 we are done with this three terms and here 0 0.01 divided by 5 0 0.01 divided by 5 it comes to be 2 into 10 raised to minus 3 and so minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 d by dt of 15 i1 and that is equal to 0 so it is 200 minus 25 i1 minus now we multiply this 15 into 2 that is 30. So 30 into 10 to the power minus 3 will be 3 into 10 to the power minus 2. 15 into 2 is 30 and 30 means 1 power will decrease if you take that 0. So 3 into 10 to the power minus 2 and this becomes d by dt of i1 that is equal to 0. Now our next job should be to make this coefficient equal to 1. So first we will change the sign. So it is going to be 3 into 10 to the power minus 2 d by dt of i1 plus 25 i1 and minus 200 equal to 0. Now we will take this 200 on right hand side and we will divide whole term by 3 into 10 to the power minus 2. So here d i1 by dt will come plus 25 divided by 3 into 10 to the power minus 2 into i1 equal to 200 divided by 3 into 10 to the power minus 2 and when you solve this we we'll get d i1 by dt plus 8.33 into 10 to the power plus 2 that is i into i1 and here you will get 66.67 into 10 to the power plus 2 and now it is in standard format we will write that format so the format is something like this d i by dt plus p into i equal to q this is our standard format and solution to this format is known to us and that solution is i of t is equal to we will not go into details but we are used to this e raised to minus pt integration q into e raised to plus pt into dt plus k into e raised to minus pt so comparing p equal to we will we'll do one thing, we will multiply it so 833. When you multiply by 100, it becomes 833.33. And here it will become 6667. Multiplying by 100, 6667. you can write 0 0.66 well these are the values of p and q so if we substitute in the equation we get i of t well when you solve this q is a constant you can take it outside e raised to minus pt e raised to pt will get cancelled and what we will get is nothing but q divided by p we are familiar with this we have done this plus k into e to the power minus pt so when you take the ratio of q divided by p it comes to be 8.001 so almost 8 plus k which is to be evaluated and calculated e to the power minus p that is 833.33 into t and that is nothing but the required current but it is a general solution remember this is just the general equation to get the particular equation we need to find the value of k so for that we need initial conditions so For initial conditions, let's get back to the initial conditions. That means value of current at t equal to 0 plus. If you see the i2 0 plus, this value, we have not substituted here. This is i1 of t. This is also i1 of t. 
And so for initial conditions, you will require the value of i1 of t, which we have not written. We have written i2 of 0 plus because that current we calculated to be 6.66. .66. So i1 at 0 plus, you can easily see that it is equal to 0 ampere because there is there cannot be any current here. The value of i1 0 plus is not actually 0 ampere. You might feel it equal to 0. But it is 0, which current is 0? i1 minus i2, which the current which is flowing through this resistor is 0. So actual value of I1 of 0 plus is same as I2 of 0 plus because that is the current which is thrown by this battery. And so it is not 0 amperes. It is exactly, so I1 of 0 plus is exactly equal to I2 of 0 plus because both are coming from the same battery. So here we might feel that I1 of 0 plus is 0 but that is not true because this current is I1 minus I2 or their subtraction. So actually I1 of 0 plus is a current supplied by battery which is exactly equal to I2 of 0 plus, that is equal to 6.66 amperes. So initial conditions, I1 of 0 plus is nothing but 6.66 amperes and we will substitute that initial conditions in this equation. So I1 of 0 is nothing but we got 6.66, that is equal to, so we are putting T equal to 0 here, 8 plus K into 1, that will come k into 1 or in other words k will be 6 minus or 6.66 minus 8 that comes to be minus 1.34 so the constant we have got at minus 1.34 and so we will write the original equation of i1 so particular solution is i1 of t is equal to 8 minus 1.34 because k value is minus 1.34 e raised to minus 833 0.33 into t and this is the required solution for i1 of t we are not done we have to get i2 of t also but we know that i2 of t if you see i2 it is 100 minus 10 i1 divided by 5 so it is going to be again 100 minus 10 i1 divided by 5 so this i1 value we will put here and that we will do on the next page. So I2 of t is 100 minus 10 into this I1. I1 is 8 minus 1.34. So we put bracket 8 minus 1.34 e raised to minus 833.33 into t whole divided by 5. So here also 5. And this, if you open the bracket, 100 minus 80 minus minus plus, then it is 13.4 e raised to minus 833.33 into t divided by 5 and 100 minus 80 is 20, 20 divided by 5 is 4, so 4 plus this 13.4 divided by 5, 2.68 e raised to minus 833.33 t. So also we have got particular solution for I2 of t. And if you see the question, that is what they have asked us, I1 and I2, when switch is closed, we have got both. So that is the end of problem. So thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to Ikira. Thank you.